Welcome to my closet clean out. Yeah! Yeah, we are trying on every piece of clothing that I own today because, you know what, I honestly don't really have a reason for this other than the fact that it's come to a point where the drawers under my bed are being stuffed, the clothes are falling out, my racks are crazy, I haven't done this in a minute. I hate when I'm in this goddamn mirror. Yeah, it's just time, you know what I'm saying? It's just time. So I'm gonna start like forming piles, like donate, sell. There's like a potential that I would maybe do like a closet sale at like a thrift store potentially like that would be really cool only if i have enough stuff and like good stuff because like i don't want to host a closet sale and then it just be like busted up stuff stuff with like stains on it or the shape is gone or whatever so i want to be like smart with my piles and what i want to donate and then smart with the places that i'm donating to etc but i think this is a really important thing to do with your clothes but i also think like while you're doing it reflect on like the way you're shopping i hope this is fun you guys can do this with me if you want throw this vid on throw some music on stream solar power by lord who is excited for the album who's excited for lord's comeback like i love her if y'all are shitting on solar power let's talk because i think it's good um i think it's summer song i think it's my new anthem i think it's my new wake up happy in the morning vibe and like we weren't expecting some masterpiece it's a single it's a what a okay not me like defending lord now in this intro i've been seeing a lot of tiktoks that are like damn like so excited to have a new album for like this new stage in my life but, like literally like i'm so excited to have this album for this moment in my life where i'm like literally losing it and, like trying to figure out like what i'm doing and like who i am and like meh, you know so yeah so thanks lord anyways i think we should get started because it's gonna be a long one let's do tops because right now i'm wearing this top and sweatpants can you see it in the mirror <laughs> bitch Let's run it. I think I need to show you guys the condition that my tops are in. This isn't even close. Like, I cannot live like this. It's not cute. Like, how are you not fucking with it? This is the first top we're trying on. I know this is a yes. I love this top. I got it off of Depop. And I love her. I love wearing tops with a woman on it. Like, there's something about wearing another female, like, talking her shit or, like, doing her thing that, like, is just makes you want to do yours. Okay, the next top, covering the yuddies as if I, like, haven't been on YouTube tits out. But anyways, um, it's my friend Nicole. She has a clothing line. She's so incredibly talented. She helped me with my final video at Paris College of Art when I went abroad because I needed like small designers to do this video. And she had sent me this top to photograph and I shot these pictures that I still like really like because oftentimes I like don't like the photos that I post after a while. Um, but this top is really cool, really nice material. And she just like does really cool stuff. So I'll put her info here and also in the description. She's really cool. Check her out. Okay, this next top, I thrifted this in like the little kids section, which is just so funny because this top says give me likes on it. And like there was nothing else at the bottom, like no other text. So I'm just kind of like wondering like what the context was or like what this even like means in the realm of like little girls. Like give me likes, like what? But I think it's funny because like I'm on social media or whatever and it's like give me likes. You know, like, I honestly wish Instagram had that, like, you can't see how many likes, whatever feature that was. What are they even doing with that? Do we know? Anyways, I just think it's funny. It's cute and it's really colorful, so it's always fun to, like, layer with, throw on with a skirt, baggy jeans, blazer, whatever. Some other tops that I, like, know I'm gonna keep and, like, not gonna try on for the sake of time and stuff. This Generation Records t-shirt, this Chow Bella t-shirt I got in room but you could probably find them anywhere got this black one as well miss mona kiki i love this shirt it's my cousin and she made these shirts as a fundraiser 
This I wear a lot. I got this off of Depop as well. Another icon, another female face moment happening. And it's from Old Navy, which is just like, you know, like, okay. Okay, Old old Navy. Let's step your pussy up back to this. Like, can we, can we get back to this? Also, you know, I'm keeping my Roma by Rachel tees. Love these. Baby tee crop tops that I used to wear a ton that are like kind of old now. This one's Eloise and I love Eloise and I got it literally at the plaza at her gift shop at Louise's gift shop No, I think I need to keep this what I might give away though is this Or is it cute? I don't know I think I overdid Hello Kitty to the point where now I just don't wear her anymore or like this shirt in particular And I just don't know but it's like New York Ugh. Okay, I think I'm def gonna give this away or put this in a pile because I bought this at Savers I think and I never wear it and I have a lot of other like pink baby tees, you know Very cute. Okay, this I need y'all's opinions. Let me try it on Like what are we thinking? The v-neck the neck is definitely not something I'm used to never ever worn it. It's cute, but is it? Am I gonna wear it? Probably not So this might be it now Okay, my bestie Bianca Bensabello on Instagram has a brand. She is a designer in design school and she's going to conquer the world. She's already out here like making shit like this. Like this is so cool. She made my prom dress. She made my bridesmaids dress for my cousin's wedding that I never ended up going to because of COVID. Rip. She just is the fucking best. Like peep her instagram she does like custom stuff she just knows how to like design and sew for like a woman's body and she's just like the greatest person on earth keep her stuff ben sabello hi bianca if you're watching but i love this top i think it's so cool i don't really have anything like it and it's gorgeous and fits like a glove my hair is just gonna become less and less slicked back the more shirts and tops i put on this shirt also thrifted from savers it's a fun little graphic. There were two of them, so I thrifted it for me and my friend Sophia, which was cute. But I never wear her. But I don't want to get rid of her, you know? No, she could be cute. I just need to showcase her more in my drawer, so I grab her. You know what I'm saying? But she's cute. I'm not going to try on any of, like, my tank tops. They're all, unfortunately, from Brandy Melville. Like, when I still shopped there, I don't anymore. It's fucking... I heart New York top that I literally cut right under the boobs, but I don't want to give away. I'm keeping it. I love her. This tank top, literally one of my favorite tank tops of all time. It's so good. 007, nobody does it better. One of those tops though that like, like sticks, but once it's on the body, it soups cute. This top I'm obsessed with. There's no way I'm ever giving this away because it took like three weeks to come in and it was also like $70. I don't know what. I would like I just was obsessed with it. It's Miss 60. I'm a Miss 60 stan. I just think it's so cool I think I bought it like while I was watching WandaVision and You know if you watch WandaVision like you get the vibes, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm obsessed with this top It's one of my favorite tops of all time and I just think she's really cute and again tops with women on it I like have an obsession I guess. Okay, it's this top. I remember seeing it on Bella and then finding this website and they had it and I was like, oh my god, I'm getting it. And I loved it, right? And it's super flattering. Like when you wear a bra or like if you scoop your boobs, like makes the titties look really nice. It's really like flattering and like pretty and it has this like gorgeous detail that I'm worrying is cultural appropriation. So that's a whole other concern that I don't want to get into, even though I'm guilty of doing it in my past, you know? I've become way more aware in my recent years of what is counted as cultural appropriation, like what it actually is, etc. So, I just, yeah, don't want to be that bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's pretty top. I don't know if it's still in style, and I also don't know if it's cultural appropriation. And honestly, I think if I have any question as to if it is or not, that's kind of a sign. So we're gonna get this one away. <laughs> okay, what do we think about this? Yeah, I don't think I'll ever wear this. Okay, it's a no. This is one of my favorite tops that I own. I just feel like I don't wear it enough just cause I'm like right now so attracted to color and obviously it's like not the most colorful top, but I just think it's so cool. It's so easy to like throw on with sweats or jeans. It's a Harley Davidson top. Yeah, it's really cute. 
little muscle tank. I don't think muscle tanks are necessarily like the most flattering on like my arms, but it's like, girl, can't care that much. Cute. Keeping her. I'm gonna fold the tops up, make my piles, and then we're gonna move on to the second drawer, which I don't even know what is in there. It's long sleeve top sweaters. I don't know. I don't know, what do y'all think? Keep Kobe cute with white flares and like a bag. how poorly these were folded because they're everything that I'm trying on is wrinkly okay this is it says Bermuda I've never been to Bermuda it was Chris's my friend Chris and I remember freshman year I think he was doing something similar like a closet clean out and I went through a bag of his stuff um, and I took this and it's one of like my coziest little throw-on shirt but I don't know if I'm still into it no I think I am I think I am <laughs> No, not for me. Hmm. I like the color and I like it for layering. I love this outfit that I wore it with. So I'm gonna keep it for now. Maybe. I've never worn it either. I think yeah. This, all these tops are pretty much thrifted. I'll specify like right here where everything's from. I will have already been doing that, but just saying. Okay. Okay, I bought this top. It's ribbed. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's just like... Sorry, my AC's making noise because I just turned it off because it was getting hot in here. Um, I bought it to do like a little mini skirt moment, like a 90s supermodel energy, like a little Kate Moss. I don't know if it is. I don't know if I'm focused because I'm moving around too much. I have a top really similar. Um, I just found this cardigan in this pile of clothes. Oh, I don't know about this. Okay, I'm giving right now. Like, this is giving like a coin. I don't know. Like, the silhouette is very, like, unique to this cardigan, and I don't wear cardigans a bunch. So, like, maybe it would be nice to have. Let's try it on without the tank top underneath. Let's do that. This is her... This is it with the one button. Got this thrifting as well. I don't know, what do y'all think with the buttons? I've also, I've worn this like a couple times. Just under jackets and stuff. I think I should have cardigans in my closet. You know? So, maybe I'll keep this one just cause it's cool with the sleeves, unless it's not. What do y'all think? I don't know. Some quick yeses, this teddy bear flannel that I love. It's my only flannel that I own and I, love it because i love teddy bears and then this sweater vest i love so like schoolboy vibes i think it's so cute this moschino top that i got in paris so i love that this south pole sweater that i think is really cute with argyle and it's got a cowl neck it could be definitely like ugly but I think when style's cool, it's a fun sweater to have. And I have such a hard time with sweaters for some reason in terms of like me thinking it's like stylish or like I want to wear it just cause I don't know, it's just sweaters are, sweaters are hard. Um, but sweater vests on the other hand, I got really into this past winter or fall. Yeah, as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram. This one's really fun, high energy vintage. Y'all saw me style this in my 21 outfits. Very cute. The brand Joseph Ho. Okay, Joseph. I've had this for so long. I know it's cute. Like, it's deaf cute. Like, come on. But I just have not worn, like, I just can't figure out how to style it and make it me. Like, but it's cheetah print first. I'm like, it should be easy. I'm really debating selling this or giving this away. The brand is Sans Souci. Okay, this was the top that I was saying is really similar to the other black because it's just like a high neck. But the catch with this one is that it's open back. 
that makes sense. Okay, fine, I'll try it on. Okay, this is she. And already, it's a different vibe from the other one. Am I, is it not? This is the back. And it is 100% cashmere. This is great. This is what closet cleanouts are for, other than literally cleaning out your closet. But you're shopping your own closet. You forget what you own, bro. Or maybe you don't. Maybe this is just me. I don't know. But it's cute. I'm keeping this. This top is from Zamita, that website that I've got these like arm sleeves at because this is like a set, right? It's supposed to go together. But I haven't worn the top since I wore it for the first time in Paris. These photos for cute. So I'm trying to figure out if like I like it still. I think it's still really cool. But like kind of only with the arm sleeves. I don't know if I would wear it alone. But I'll keep it. I'm gonna keep it. This top is super frustrating. Because <laughs> I got this at the thrift store. And it's a long sleeve. And for some reason I thought it could be really cool. Like I thought. I, th I still think it could be really cool. It's a girl taking photo of the Eiffel Tower, right? And it says, what does it say? Unique you, which is like so cheesy. And then her outfit is like very hipster vibes with her little top knot. So I'm like, okay, is this just kind of like a cringy shirt? Or like, is it kind of cool? Like, is it fits really tight? So I think I'm keeping it. This top is cute. It's like a suede little vest. But I thrifted this. Steph's gonna keep this. It's from Leopora's um, Depop shop. I'll link it right here, put it in the description. Very cute. So I'm keeping like all my mesh tops. This one in particular is like my favorite. I got it in Paris. It's just so cool. This zebra top that I thrifted. It's just a long sleeve zebra and it's velvet. I think it's cute, but I don't wear it enough, to be honest. I don't love it, so I think I'm gonna finally get rid of this as well. I've had this for a while. waist early 2000s jeans and they're kind of hard for me to style but i think they're really fun especially like the butt pockets and stuff so i think i'm gonna keep these ones Are the other pair that I don't know if I want they're way more comfortable like they have like stretch to them <laughs> we'll see these lucky brand jeans that are boot cut they're super cute but they don't fit anymore so definitely gonna give these away they have a really cute flare and then these have these cute butterfly um details on them but I've never worn them the flare is like really popping and cute I'm gonna put them in the to style pile we'll see what we get up to but yeah definitely not these even though there's some nice jeans i don't know what to do about the levi's i just tried on they're like the stretchy levi material not like the hard kind of denim if that makes sense but they have a nice like flare as well like straight leg almost flare they're in the maybe pile two denim jumpsuits that i just cannot get myself to try on right now because it's like a whole process especially this one but this one i thrifted I will put a picture of myself in it. This is very cute. And I know I'm gonna keep it. This one I also thrifted. It's, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's like the Jennifer Lopez, her clothing line, but it like laces up all the way. And then these flare. Okay, and then I have these Tommy jeans that completely tore in the butt, but I think they're still cute to wear over like bikinis and stuff to the beach. So I'm gonna keep these ones. I also have these nasty gal kind of like God, I don't even know what to describe this texture as. Definitely supposed to look like leather, but they're definitely not. Um, and they're like this kind of cream color that I really like. So, keeping these for sure. So this is the first little skirt. It's pretty cute. I, I don't know. I feel like every time I wear this, 
people are kind of like, that's ugly. You know? I don't know. I've been told it's kind of eh. But I think it's kind of fun. So I'm going to keep this one. Def yes to the denim skirt. It's like a long skirt with the slits in the leg. This little denim skirt. Very cute. Very comfy. I don't really know what I was thinking with this one. Maybe a little boho moment. I've never worn her. Like, she could be cute, no? No, I think it's pretty bad. She's dear. You know, she's dear. But I don't know if she's me. Okay, now this is like a purple suede mini skirt. But it's like not, doesn't fit how I thought it would. I got it off of Depop. It's too, like, bodycon fitting. I don't know. It doesn't help that I'm trying all this on with, like, this shirt. I might hold on to it for a little bit longer. Okay, this I wore to GovBall 2019. Yeah, that makes sense. And, I don't know, it was really cute. Now I just, like, don't know if I would wear it again. I don't know what it is that makes me feel like I'm not gonna wear this. Putting it in the maybe pile. This is a skirt, which is iconic, like little shorts built in, which is just lovely. Honestly, I think every skirt should be a skirt. Um, I think it's cute. The like denim wash is like a little, I don't know. It's not my fave denim wash, but I think it's fun. I believe the brand is Guess and it's cute. It's like a good length for a mini skirt. And I like it. Some like no brainers that I'm just gonna show y'all now are the skirt that I literally just bought and wore last night. So the ribbon is all messed up. The cute little pleated skirt. I'm definitely gonna keep that. Favorite skirt that I own. This like low waist, long guy right here. This brand is Tracy M. I thrifted it. Let's try this on because I don't know how this fits again okay i've never actually looked at the tag it's princess vera wang like i'm confused what what that is now but this is fun and cute and fits low waisted and i like the colors in it it's got pockets it's cute i think this is a no i don't even need to try it on because i just know i don't wear it lt modern perspectives sure and I remember buying this being like, this is going to look like a reformation skirt. Not really my style anymore. So I think I'm yassing this guy or not throwing it out. I keep saying like throwing out terms, but I don't mean that. This brown skirt is the brand ICE Image Concept Emotion. Yes. Corduroy brown skirt, mini skirt, got it off Depop. Obviously keeping this because it's one of my favorite mini skits. And then, whoa whoa there i'm keeping this brown velvet skirt that i wore literally in my last video with the bows betsy johnson polka dot skirt that i'm literally obsessed with it's polka dot with ruffles at the bottom and it has these heart pockets it's giving like apron vibes like 50s mom apron vibes and it's so cute but the waist is so teeny it cinches me like i literally can't breathe so i don't really wear it often but I don't think I'm ever going to give it away because I love it. <laughs> oh, well, that is this skirt, actually. It's this long. I thrifted this, but it was from Zara. And it's really comfy. I just, it's not me. Oh, another yes is this, like, little mini skirt with the ruching. I'll try to see what the brand is. No boundaries. Just for shorts, I feel like y'all have seen these. Def keeping those. Def keeping these. I wore these in my last video. Brand is Faded Glory period these i bought recently fun little shorts i love these shorts so def keeping these I'm, I'm into the long short as you guys know so these ones are one of my faves this brand is chaz c-h-a-z-z-z -Z -Z. these i don't know about because they were pleated jeans and then i cut them into shorts no these are a no Okay, I have these pants from Street Hippie NYC. It's a small business. They have an Instagram. Here's their Instagram. I'll also link it in the bio. And I freaking love these pants. I think they're so cool. They're these ones with the New York City skyline at the bottom. I Instagrammed them before, but I'm not sure if I showed y'all on the tube. So I got them in kind of a bigger size, so they fit a little bit lower waisted. The skyline is on the front leg of this and then on the back leg of this, if that makes sense. They're very, very, very cute. These leather pants from Nasty Gal. These are super cute. I showed you guys these. And they were like really nice leather. My camera is blinking that the battery's about to die. And I started this with full battery. Knew this was gonna happen. Girl, we gotta speed this up.
just asked Tia about these because I didn't know if they were like too overdone, if I've like already, you know, if they had their time kind of thing. But they're super comfortable and they fit real nice. So we were like, if there's a perfect themed party, then I'm gonna wish that I had them. I also have the matching top, like the set. But they do kind of just like sit in my room because I don't like reach for them, you know? Because I just have like worn them a bunch and have seen them worn a bunch. I'll keep them for a little bit longer. Okay, hi guys. It's been a minute because I had to wait for my camera battery to charge and do a couple things around and I finished doing some closet cleanup things that aren't as fun. So, it's time for the racks. It really is. I think I know some of the stuff that I definitely want to keep because I know these racks pretty well because I stay looking at them. But there's definitely stuff like I know I want to try on. God, closet cleanouts are exhausting. First off, this hat, I'm kind of like, why did I buy this? But then again, I'm also kind of like, I get it. Keeping it. This I 100% need to try on because what in a black blouse? I never wear black blouses. Let's try it on. Okay, I didn't even realize, but this top's kind of everything. Low-key giving Harry Styles at Met Gala this look. I'll put it right here. You know, like the all black look when he did the blouse. Okay, I just can't get these buttons right now. But this shirt has these really cool cuffs. Right, and you would button them. I just can't do it right now. So they would have like billowy sleeves, you know? Again, there's a zipper right here, but I'm scared it's gonna pinch my skin. So I'm just not gonna zipper it. I keep scooching y'all back. But it would like fit nice and tight. And it would have like the billow sleeves with the ruffles. It's kind of cool. Wow, it looks silly with my Adidas puns. And like, why do I think it's good to have, Never mind. am I gonna say this? Yeah, it's good to have black clothes in case of a funeral. This is going to look insanity. It's like a tight little denim blazer moment. Yeah, she's cute. A double hang. Because even though I'm cleaning out my closet, I'm telling y'all, it's still gonna need it. Like, it's still gonna need it. The pop zipper. Y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Honestly, this is how we roll. Um, Let's try this bitch on. No, I don't like it. I think I'm getting rid of it. And I just know it's going to sit in my closet. I just know it. I just know it. Let's see, what do we have in here? You know how I do this? Like, this is not right. Like, but I truly, like, I need the room, you guys. This cute little matching lingerie set. So cute. I'll link the Depop or, like, put it on the screen right here. So freaking cute. And the little thong thong. So cute. Why am I standing here instead of here where there's, like, so much room? Because this is my bad side, if you were wondering. And see, good one. I don't know if I want this still. See? <laughs> I want a trench really bad, but like a regular khaki classic trench. I don't know about this one. Obviously, y'all know I'm keeping this. Like, are y'all good? Like, if you thought I was giving that away, like, there's something wrong with you. Mm, mm hmm. It's enough for me. There's a hole in it. I feel bad my mom got me this. It's just one of those things, bro. It's just like, she's almost there, you know? Like she knows I'm like really into the 70s groove, but it's just, it's almost too, oh, I like can't, I cannot think of the word for it, but it's just like almost too like patterny. It's not like vintage enough. Oh my God, I sound like a fucking bitch, but it's like, do you know what I'm talking about? I literally can't speak today. Me editing this is going to be so annoyed. Sorry, girl. It's Lazy Oaf. I love Lazy Oaf. They have really cool tights. I would wear this if it was in a tight form. Like, I would give it that. Diane has those. My friend Diane has this pattern in a tight form. I just, you know, the mock neck, I'm not into it. It's a no for me. This top I'm obsessed with. It's so gorgeous. I thrifted this. What do we think? I'm kind of over check. I'm kind of over it. The skirt's cute. But the like check two piece is almost too like 2017, 2018 like trend. I wore this like this with a granny bra and like boots and that was cute. You have to like balance it out with like your style, you know? We're keeping that in the maybe pile. 70s jacket dress moment. I need to like find a better way to style that for sure. Okay, another question. Giving Ralph Lauren realness, but it's Liz Claiborne. Do I like the polo energy do i feel like 
Princess Diana about to scream at fucking Charles for flirting with Camilla at his polo match. You know what I'm saying? Like, am I giving that? And is it a vibe? Or is it just really just not me? Or is there a better home for it? Half the time, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, would someone else appreciate this more? Now we're on to tops and a dress as well. Girl, I need to organize this. This little beaded top is really cute. I've yet to wear it, but it's really cute. And it just ties in the back. So it's like an open back, really gorge. Thrifted it. Let me see if there's a brand. No, that's just like the washing info. I'm sorry. And then I have this top little IMG a moment which matches the pants that I was contemplating about giving away I'm gonna keep it for now this purple leather little booby vest top is also IMG -a, and I'm gonna keep it as well fucking this hanger look at how many tops I have on this hanger this is oh my god this is actually embarrassing I can't believe I'm like actually showing y'all that this is how I like store my clothing this I do not want I know it I, I saw girls wearing little lingerie tops with low waist jeans and some cute ass sneakers and posting Instagrams and I was like, I love that. I wanna do that, I wanna wear that. Never touched this in my life. It's so not my style. I don't know why I thought it was. It just like isn't. Like I love wearing lingerie stuff out, but this is was just wasn't the way that I like pictured it for myself. So this is gorgeous and I think this is super pretty, but I don't know, I just never ever wear it, you guys. I will be buried in the shirt. My mom and sister were at Savers and they just recently thrifted this for me and I think it's pretty cute. Should I try it on? Yeah, I'll try it on. It's cute. I like kind of feel like I'm in a dance costume, weirdly. I don't really know what it is, but it's cute. I like the pattern a lot. This dress is iconic, but I never wear it and I think it deserves a better home. I'm gonna get rid of it. I meant not get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? Sell it, donate it, etc. cetera. My slippy, my slippy girls. I'm gonna keep all of them. Now we're on the other rack. I tried this top on really quick to just like see what it looked like on because I haven't worn it yet. So I definitely want to style it soon because I actually really like it. On this side, I have like a lot of like little scarves and all my ties and stuff, which I know like I want all of them this top is like one of my favorite tops of all time but it's kind of like deteriorating at the bottom which is kind of sad i just think it's so cool and i haven't worn it in such a long time but i love it i got this at the consignment shop i used to work at what about this top it has like a peter pan collar which is cute and then like a interesting looking crest of some sort it does have shoulder pads which i'm not like thrilled about just because you can kind of see through them i think i might get rid of it because i really haven't worn it in such a long time okay wait now i'm kind of thinking i should keep it oh i'll try it on okay, wait no i think i want to keep it it's kind of shake like like it's kind of really shake I know I'm keeping the white vest because I'm obsessed with it. But these two little guys, it's like a lacy little dress with like underwire under the boobs. Obviously some type of lingerie moment here going on. I like it. I think it's cool. This top on the other hand, I've tried to style and wear out and I don't know. It's really cute. She has been sitting in my closet for a while. I think it's time for her to go. This I thrifted as well. I need like a navy blue bottom or, ooh, ooh. I could wear it over this slip over here. It's like this like fun little blazer moment that I think is so cool. I love all the twisty details and stuff. This, on the other hand, I think has got to go. Lord, I forget the site that I got it on. I will find it. I bought it for Kieran, my boyfriend's formal. What year was that? Sophomore year? Junior, sophomore year? And they switch the theme of the formal. Oh my God, he's gonna watch this and die laughing because he knows this gets me so tight. But they switched the theme of the formal like the night before or like there wasn't a theme and it was just formal and I was like, work, I'll wear like a formal dress. They switched the theme to Mykonos Coachella or something like that. It was something really fucking weird. And then the inspo pictures were like so bad, like genuinely like so bad, like 2014 ass like old lf dresses like the 
the ugly ass floral prints and i was just like this dress couldn't be more opposite to be honest it's like day to night and i had splurged on this i had gotten accessories on depop on all these other websites i went up shopping to find like a lip color to go with this outfit leslie because i like wasn't wearing like lipstick i don't know i wasn't where i didn't wear lip colors like for the longest time so leslie went to Dwayne reed and we got like drugstore lip products for me to like pair with this i like, did a whole thing and then i ended up having to wear this ugly ass outfit my easter dress that i packed because i was going from kieran's home for easter so i wore my yellow easter dress with sneakers because my heels for this dress didn't match so brutal <laughs> anyways this is the dress you tie it like this around the boobs and this goes across here it's kind of like the shape's kind of trending now isn't it like those but in like knit and it's really cute and it has like this mesh cover that kind of hangs down at such a moment it has the ruching it was gonna be so cute in such a moment i had these black shocky heels with it and all this gold detailing i literally have the gold butterfly that i bought for it this to fucking wear in my hair which would kind of have been ugly so but i've kept it and like i at least borrowed it and like it's been worn to all these places i wore it to a fashion week party you know it's had its it's had its time yeah i'm certainly past this moment so definitely say my goodbyes to her okay do we want the mother of the bride shawl do we want this but like look at the sleeves like that's hilarious that's legit mother of the bride vibes yeah i still like it yeah okay this brown dress looked terrible on me like i just think my body type the color was really bad on me but it's a cute ass dress so i'm gonna see if somebody else would like this what are we thinking what are we thinking here? god it's so hard to picture with this collar shirt underneath it maybe pile this shirt i mean yeah i need to keep that Oh no. Do I show you guys this? This is like literally embarrassing. Like genuinely what? Like literally just not me having this like randomly in my closet. It's by Zara. I got it at a housing works. For what girl? I've never put this on my body. What if there is a moment that I need this and I just wouldn't have it? Ugh, I don't know. You guys, these shoulder pads. Also, it's not button in the neck. I've just been a goofy little mess in this video. Fringe at the bottom is like just corny at this point. The whole thing is quite corny. And then this jacket, this was what I was wondering about if I still wanted this and then the mermaid dress happened to be under it. Hello. Honestly, I think it's still cool. Not the prom dress. Literally not the prom dress. If I see a prom dress, at a thrift store that I like, I will buy it. Steph, my friend Steph, knows that about me. And where is it? She was thrifting and she saw this purple moment. And let me tell you, Miss Girl, the ruffles at the bottom, we need to try this on. It actually like fits like a glove. I think I need to take my camera off the tripod to show y'all this. This is just, Hilarious how well this fits. No idea where I'd wear this to, but love that I own it. So I love you, Steph. Thank you for getting me this. Are you kidding? Okay, work. Love it. Okay, under here is this little top that I bought because I remember I thinking it looks like a meow corset. But I don't know if it does. Let me actually let's try it on over this. That could maybe be cool. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a I like it. Like, I literally like them together. All right, everybody. We just did a little fit. Oh, this is another cue. I got this blazer in Paris, right? Mm hmm. Right. And it's cool. It's like patchwork vibes. Like, the grays, they're really hard to work with. Like, I don't know how to style it, to be honest. But it honestly looks kind of cute with this top now too. Okay, my camera, don't you dare die on me a second time. I'm so scared of how long this video is going to be, judging but just strictly by the fact that I have gone through two battery lifetimes. Oh good God. Style pile. Duh, bitch. Yes, keeping it. The book. Okay, all my vests are hung on like one hanger here. It's a yes, I love all of them. Hanging pants. 
these are the IMG brown bell bottoms. These are just like regular brown pants. I think they're both a yes. Okay, I bought these pants because I found them at a thrift store. Literally don't they look like an IMG uh, like style pant. And I love this color so much. And I think my only pants in this color is like nasty gal vinyl pants that are like super long and like not the best quality or whatever. So I'm always looking for like pants like this. Um, and they are so tight. Like I don't even think I can get them to fit me. And I bought them because I was like, okay, maybe this will be gold pants or like maybe I'll just fit them in one point of my life. And I just like truly don't like lose weight. Like I just, no matter how much I work out, it just like doesn't seem to happen, which is fine. I'm just gonna like accept the body that I have and whatever. And I don't mean to trigger anybody by talking about losing weight or anything. It's that, this is just strictly my experience, but I've never gotten to put these on and wear them. And they're one of those pants, you know what I'm saying? And they're cute, like kind of boot cut. I think they're so cute. They very, like they look barely worn. The brand is Vertigo Paris. And I don't know if I should just give them away because they're like never gonna fit me or if I should just still keep them and see. Maybe pile. This dress is like a knitted halter dress, which is super cute. I wore it in Paris. I really like it. It's really thick, really nice. It's from Nasty Gal. I think I'm gonna keep it. And then my two leather jackets that I love dearly and I'm going to keep. I have one more bin to do and it's my bin of like fun clothes, meaning like these biker shorts, my pantaloons, my dress from Poster Girl, these pantaloons, like my fun overalls, my cheetah jumpsuit, like all my statement pieces that I know like I absolutely love. So I don't really think I need to go through that. I just need to fold that and that's not really cute video content for y'all. I think maybe I can go through accessories and stuff in another video or another like vlog or something because i don't know if i have time to do that today this has truly been crazy i really hope you all enjoyed watching this video um i hope it encouraged you to do your own clean out or just like make some fun outfits in your closet or i just hope you had a good time so yeah, i've got a lot of work to do over here on my end but i love you guys i really appreciate your support and you are watching this video um, if you have any questions of where I got certain things and I didn't specify enough or at all, please do ask or DM me on Instagram, which is chloe.philopolis. Follow me there if you want to. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Happy June. Happy Pride Month. I love you all. And yeah, I will see you on my next video. Okay. Bye.